Hello, my name's Andy. I'm the Ginger Gamer. Welcome to episode 30. Now, this is my third video in my series um, playing through Hogwarts Legacy. If you watched the last episode, you'll know that I had the first visit to Hogsmeade, so a few lessons, and we saw a little bit more of the plot um, between Van Rock and Rookwood. Um, and today it's going to be our second day in Hogwarts and I'll have a few more lessons, learn a few more skills, complete a side quest and as the title of the video suggests, I'll be um, going to the restricted section of the library. Now, if you don't know, this is a fairly casual playthrough. I'm not trying 100% everything. I haven't got it on a difficult, difficult level. Level. I'm just playing through and hoping to share what the game has to offer with you, really. So it's all about enjoying it rather than testing my skills, as it were. Right. One thing about reading mail that I would point out is, is I didn't keep up with it very well. This is just me getting lost again. Every time I leave <laughs> my dormitory, I always get lost. Um, this thing I was going to say about mail is very often when I read mail, maybe it's just me not keeping up with it, but very often what's come in the mail has always already appeared in a quest. And so I miss a lot of the letters and don't necessarily read them, but I already know what's going on, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm just quickly travelling around the school. As I said in the last episode, to begin with, I didn't really concentrate on using the flu network. I just ran around the school. Now, I'm not going to bore you with my attempts to find my way around, but I did it to try and learn the, the school, really, but I, it didn't work very well, so I gave up on it a little bit. But anyway, we're starting this playthrough, meeting up with Professor Fig again. Now, it always threw me a bit coming to Professor Fig's classroom because his, he's got a separate office and I always forget. Um, if you haven't watched the other two episodes, I will point out, you may have already seen it, I get lost a lot and I miss very obvious clues about what I'm meant to do a lot. So please don't get too <laughs> frustrated with me. Anyway, he's Professor Fig has not really Professor, seen me, but eventually I'm glad picks to see up. You. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armour. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Heckett a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hackett know to expect you. 
One other thing I'd just point out as well is um, that all of the expositional bits and the interesting cutscenes, I will endeavour to not interrupt um, so you can appreciate what's going on. And the other thing I'd say as well is whilst I'm editing these videos, it's after I've completed the main part of the game. I haven't finished the game in its entirety, but I've, infinite, I've finished the main quest and the main story. So I've definitely completed it. it. This will be a finished series. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. The other point I'd make is I'm, I'm also trying to play it being super nice. Um, sometimes it's a little tricky to work it out. It's a little ambiguous at times. So this is me after the gobstones and I'm awful at finding them. So I've edited it a bit for so it's not too boring for you, the viewer, really. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I, I was unnecessarily concerned that I was going to Accio the owl then, but luckily I didn't. slightly underestimated the game as well I, I was quite surprised around the school for Zenobia's gobstones that they We're actually um, signposted you to each new gobstone so I initially I didn't follow the the path which made it a little bit more difficult Once I did work it out, though, I it's, keep it's, an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. It's relatively easy to, to find them, and your character says that I need to look at high places pretty much when you're you're quite close to them, as well. So you help yourself, as it were. Um, and I chose to do this side quest just to make things a little bit more interesting, but also y y it's it's a it's a fun way of reaching other parts of the school and you open up more flues and things like that so it does help you in the future as well 
I'm trying to Accio through a wall then, which isn't super clever. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. So some of the quests are locked and there's requirements you need to have like a certain level or to complete other tasks or to know different spells, which is a good way of, you know, you playing the game at one, a sensible pace, but also in the correct order, as it were. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. So yeah, um, professors will often assign you tasks before they will then teach you um, other spells or give you some Seed information. Seed Cross Wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. But it's quite good. It's quite a good way of getting through the story and developing your, so. your skills. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Now I choose no here, and I'm not quite sure why, but it doesn't make a huge amount of difference, to be honest. And as I said, I'm not playing I'll be it. I'll dueling solo. Then let's get to it. I'm not playing it on a particularly high difficulty though. Ready In fact, I'm definitely thrashed. not. I should have done the practice first though. That's all I'll say. Apologies in advance. Although I do find this easier than the practice for reasons I'll come to in a bit. Now, I'm not still completely button mashing. I'm, I'm kind of getting there. It's quite embarrassing looking back quite how bad I was when I do get better as the game goes on um, and you kind of have to especially after playing the final boss 
you do kind of have to get better and more organized and deliberate with your spell casting and mixing up different spells. I'm, I'm still lo lumosing when um, I need, I'm just trying to be defensive and use Protego. But as I say, on the difficulty level I'm playing, this, this is still quite easy. I'm releasing the right trigger, which is why I'm losing instead of potato. But that's definitely problems with my gameplay rather than problems with the game. I, I think the combat in the game is pretty good, to be honest. And um, it's just for some reason. I was um, <laughs> um, not very good. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Now you have to do the structured practice before you can then go back to see the professor. Um, which I, I kind of did it the wrong way around. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. But if you think I was bad in that drooling, um, wait to see me do the spell combination practice. Oh dear, it's bad. So look forward to some amusement coming up. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. I will slightly speed up my rubbish in a minute. <laughs> um, not really to hide it, but just, I, I still can't work out why I was so bad and why I kept getting it wrong. But from here on, I continually press the wrong button. Um, <laughs> and it goes very, very badly. And then eventually I I kind of turn my brain on and start, start doing it correct. But it, it took me, I mean, I sped it up, but it took me a long time to not be entirely rubbish. Yep, and I still mess it up. <laughs> so I'm trying not to hide it. I, d I don't really want to hide every time I mess up. But also, I don't really want to bore you <laughs> with my messing up either. So um, mostly I'll show most of it. I'll often speed it up. See, I work it out then, and then it's simple. I found you may not if you're a better so player. Enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. You, if you're a better player, may may find this not the case. Simon's but I found finished. doing that combination practice actually made me a lot better in combat. So it's worthwhile. It's worth doing. And now I can go back and see Professor Hecat and learn Incendio. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecat. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. 
as I've kind of previously said, um, you only do this once when you learn it, this kind of movement, and it's really easy. Really, really easy. So it's kind of a very perfunctory kind of system. Now what I don't do here, I don't think, is then go and practice the spell. I think I assign it after a, a fashion. Um, but I don't actually practice it. All the spells you learn from professors, there'll be a dummy that you can then go and practice on. But I think with Incendio, I don't practice it for some reason. Leveling up, I didn't actually find I had to go uh, go out and really concentrate on doing it and um, like you do in some games when you want to get to a higher level. Um, I found it to happen quite naturally just through playing the game, to be honest. It wasn't something I had to chase. See, so, yeah, there's that dummy there and you, you can use it, but for some reason I chose not to. And perfectly honest, I can't remember why. Anyway, back to see Professor Fig now and to start the restricted section of the library quest. Now what I think is actually quite a good thing, if you arrive at kind of the wrong time or when a character's not there, ah, you can kind of do this are. wait thing, which looks a bit silly when you stand up, but it's actually quite a good way. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule... Your schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. I must say, some of the adult NPCs in this are wonderfully passive-aggressive in how they talk about each other. But there is a solution to get into the restricted section. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later.
and we go straight to the quest, which is good. No waiting around. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. I think I'm right in saying this is one of the few spells you learn from another student. Um, which is interesting. And it's, it's part of Sebastian being uh, a significant character in this game. This is the game heavily prompting me to put this movement on now. <laughs> and I finally take the message. We're going towards um, the main entrance to the library. And the library, I think, I mean, most of this game is beautiful. I think the library is, is really well crafted and really good looking. Too. I don't know why those those prefects didn't spot the door opening or hear it, but never mind. Blast. The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. I very cleverly ne nearly get caught straight away. be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Stealth is actually done quite well in this game, I think anyway. There's lots of different there? options for is that you, Peeves? being invisible and it gets more difficult in, in certain quests. It's quite easy in this quest. Um, the key. Good gracious, what a mess. But yeah, in some in some games stealth can be really annoying. Or well, stealth missions within a within a game that's not all about stealth can be quite annoying. But um, yeah, I didn't find it too bad in this game. And we're just working our way now round to the restricted section. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now to find that book. I must say this whole the library itself and the restricted section is is far more kind of complex and um just bigger generally than I, I thought it would be, 
which is which is great which is added extras and also there's a whole there's a whole Ghost, um, don't let her see you. other other aspect to the restricted section as well which we'll see in a bit i this is me again being <sighs> utterly confused with what i'm meant to be doing here even though there's a big white outline <laughs> to what should be my target i just do this really badly so instead of this being a how-to playthrough, this is very often a how-not-to playthrough. So clearly I, I should be, you know, doing a basic spell at the armour, but I take ages to work it out. And as you see, I, I'm quite honest about this one. I don't even speed it up. I let you see it all. And there's me working. You, you can literally see my brain working there as I kind of get it. Hurrah. And I can get past the ghost. Should be in the clear now. No need for us to be skulking about. I love the little touches like the hand in the box. It's brilliant. And the moving pictures, of course, as well. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No, we've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's that wasn't me getting lost, on. by the way. Which is what, <laughs> precisely? I'll know it when I see it. That was me just having a look around. gets to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? So Sebastian definitely Just does you a solid then. This armor. But, um... His little comment at the end is is a it's a little ominous, um, but I guess that's why he's a Slytherin. Um, but we'll see more later. Repero. I love Repero. It's pretty much my favourite spell. I was a little uncertain about opening chests around school and taking stuff out of them. Because, um, as I say, I'm trying to do, you know, a perfectly good, well-behaved um, playthrough. Um, but it's fine most of the time. <laughs> of 
course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. So the antechamber is obviously an area below the library, and hence the title of this episode. I almost worked that out quickly for me. That was pretty speedy. So it's always good, I think, anyway, before a, before a fight or a battle to just have a, a, a reasonably broad but all offensive collection of um, spells. You'll notice I'm still missing the LBRB, dark, dark magic, ancient magic combo. Um, and also forgetting to dodge, absolutely forget to dodge. I suppose I should be glad that I do remember to Leviosa to <laughs> before I start basic spelling them. Now later on in the game I do sometimes save the the ancient magic LBRB deliberately um, just waiting for stronger enemies as it were or just to use it at a more opportune time um, but at the moment I, I put it off just out of um, <laughs> being unaware and to be honest even at my current level these enemies are not particularly strong so you know, I don't really need the LPRB, but um, it would have been good if I'd noticed it and used it anyway. The game, the game is reminding me. Yeah. How many times do you think it's going to take me to work out how to do this? Um, no, I just run off. <laughs> so there's one. It's, it's one of the easiest puzzles in the game as well. And I, I take an embarrassing amount. Yep, just jump right off. That's two. get it right the game is really forgiving in as much as you know I'm technically not dying or being sent back a huge way I'm just you know <laughs> just embarrassingly messing this up quite a lot so 
the actual trick really is again obviously shoot shoot the um the target um twice but um actually to take your time rushing it this must be is, the way is, forward but it's where? actually what was making it harder And as you can see there, I took my time a bit and it was it was actually easier. And this is when it finally clicks on me to, you know, search every chest. It's a good idea. Revelio. I remember the LBRB at that point, as you can see. And I just don't dodge. Without the B to dodge um, prompt coming up, I absolutely forget to dodge every single time. Oh, there, actually, I suppose I kind of dodged there. That's not too bad. But really, this, this is relatively easy if you just do the right combination of spells and remember to dodge and not Protego when you, you should dodge. Get that right. Like, Protego then and you're fine. And just keep an eye out for the dodging. Now the thing that nearly makes me go wrong in this that you will see if you have a, have a look at my health is that I don't take any potion to restore my health until seriously prompted i get very close and certainly if there were um stronger enemies i would have had a tougher time see there's that that white circle that appears is is the enemy about to land on me and i i miss it every time so in the spirit of how not to play through um, yeah, don't do that. Then I actually walk into it, which is very skillful. That's another thing not to do, definitely. And I'm still somewhat button mashing, I must admit. I do get better. I promise I get better. It is a book after all.
You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Now, it goes without saying, that's really significant in terms of the future main storyline in the game. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> So Sebastian very kindly does us another solid um, and we very cowardly hid and didn't help him out until Now I get slightly distracted here by another side quest um, which I will complete in a later episode I don't complete it now Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. 
Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Aside from other benefits of doing this quest, Lumos. this does teach you something that's that very useful in later main quests nearby. and um, puzzles you have to solve. Yep, yeah, don't ask me why I did Protego then. <laughs> Not even in a ba battle and I'm still button mashing. Yeah, so that's that side quest I've just added and my m next main quest task is to go back to see Professor Fig. And I shorten the journey for you there. Now you don't have to go back to your bed every night in the game. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. the restricted section but how thinking on it perhaps it's best you spare me the details fair enough in fact the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map I want to hear everything first let's have a look oh, oh dear some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I take a little time deciding what to do here. <laughs> I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day, but you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, in the next episode, obviously, we're going to go and meet Natty, 
and we also um, go to Herbology Cast and meet Professor Garlic, go to Potions with Professor Sharp, who we've briefly already met, and we also have quite a spooky quest to complete as well. Um, so yeah, if you have enjoyed it, please like, please comment, and please subscribe if you're not already. Um, as I said, I've already finished the game, so this is definitely going to be a complete playthrough. An additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. And we're also going to see Professor Hecker as well. Anyway, if you have enjoyed it, please um, join into the next episode, which should be out in a couple of days, and I will see you next time. Yeah.